Well, it was another hot one across the Concho Valley for this Father's Day. Temperatures got into the triple digits for us here in San Angelo. 103 are high, so again, well above average, but not quite close to that record of 110 set all the way back in 1969. Overnight lows pretty close to where they should be for this time of year in the lower 70s. So again, cooler in the evening time frame and then the overnight. But looking at the satellite radar, we saw clear skies for much of the day. And looking off towards the northwest, we do see some showers up in the Lubbock area. Those will not be hanging on long enough to get to us here tonight to get us some rain. But it is good news to see, especially when we get a little bit later in the forecast, to show you how the models are handling our rain chances for us on Monday. Looking at the time last, this is kind of looking off towards the north. Again, we saw mostly clear skies for much of the day. Some clouds did try to pop up, but the thing to note is this will be the furthest north that we see the sun because of the summer solstice. As we start to get a little bit later in the next couple of months, we'll see that sun start to creep further back south and we won't see it on the northern camera anymore. So again, we'll be watching for that as we go through the next several months. Temperatures still lingering into the lower 90s, very humid. Humid with those dew points in the 60s as well with those southeasterly winds about 11 miles per hour so again still feeling a little bit of those humid conditions breezy as well with winds in the teens for the most part seeing some gust up into the 20s 22 in Brady as well as some gust up to 20 in Ozono we saw a little bit breezier today than what we saw yesterday we saw wind gusts getting up into the lower tw or up lower 30s rather in upper 20s 29 our highest gust here in San Angelo 33 was the highest gust across the area in Ozona. So we'll continue those winds for the southeast into tomorrow as well. Temperatures right now across the area, a lot of cooling off in the eastern parts of the Concho Valley. Some mid 80s, 84 in Brady, 86 in Eden, 87 in El Dorado. So still cooling things off again. It takes a while to get rid of all that heat with getting into those triple digits, those hot temperatures. And it does take time to cool things off. That's why we're only going to be getting into the mid 70s for our overnight low, 75. Clear skies still for the most part. We will have some high clouds that we started to see move in from the north on our cactus camp. And then tomorrow, a little bit cooler, only getting into the upper 90s, but we'll really be watching for those storms later in the evening as that storm, that cold front starts to push through. That'll be pulling in those north northeasterly winds rather that's going to be cooling things off as well with those storm chances we do have a chance for some severe weather mostly going to be the high gusty winds and that includes the entire concho valley that'll be in the marginal category a one out of five for our risk again that hail threat and tornado hail tornado threat will be on the lower end. It's just only going to be watching for those gusty winds as that front comes through. Again, looking at our future cast, still seeing some of those high clouds. Those are the stray showers again on uh, Monday afternoon. We'll start to see by about the evening commute home, we'll start to see those showers and storms moving in along with that cold front. And that's going to continue through the evening hours into the overnight hours. We'll be by Tuesday morning, we'll start to clear things out a little bit. And still just hang on to some of that lingering cloud coverage. But again, with that, we could see some very beneficial rain to the area. Still expecting less than an inch for the most part. It'll be a quick round of some showers. Not expecting a complete washout by any means, but some beneficial rain nonetheless. Again, there's that cooler air moving in the upper level pattern you know, on Tuesday. That's going to linger for us, keeping us a little bit comfortable on Tuesday. But as we get into the later part of the second half of next week, we start to see that ridge rebuild over western Texas. And that introduces those warmer temperatures once again. With those reds and those pinks, so again, some higher temperatures as we go into the later parts. Again, rain chances for us on Monday, a 40% chance cooler, even in cooling off into Tuesday as well, upper 80s for our highs. Then we're going to quickly warm back up into the upper 90s and even some triple digits for Friday. And then we'll be watching for another cold front, so two cold fronts and one seven-day forecast. Say less. I think most people will be happy about that. And the answer for tonight's KLST weather question. The summer solstice is when the sun is directly over which imaginary line? That would be the answer A, the Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degrees north.